Aloha, I'm Angeline and I'm working with Lemons Moana and we're here at the Polynesian Cultural Center. There are so many cool things to do here, so I'll give you a tour. Let's go! At the Polynesian Cultural Center, there's a ton of fun stuff to do and see. It's divided into little villages that represent different Pacific Island cultures. One of my favorites, and the place we filmed most of our videos, was in Samoa. To all of you, welcome. To those of you in the snow, we miss you too, wish you were here. You drink first. And we'll give the young lady a give it up! We'll have a gift for you. What give you? Your wallet. Aww. Give it up to the young lady once again. Give it up. Thank Aww. you very much. Clap your hands. Push them up. Push them up. Yeah. Everybody say jump. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you crazy? Hi, Cap. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. What does it take to be a man? In Samoa. I'm sure every culture has that definition of a man. A man that takes care of his responsibilities. As I share with you in the show, uh, it doesn't matter what you, what you are outside, it's what you are inside your home. You can be all that outside, oh, you're the man. If you go home, you're not the man, you ain't the man. <laughs> so you have to be responsible for all the things, you know. If you are a married man, then you have that responsibility. If you're just a young man in the family, you got your own part. And if you don't do your part, and as a father, I don't do my part, the family will break apart. So, have you ever burnt yourself, like, doing the fire? Well, the fire knife dance, yes. I've, if you look at my body here, there's all the cuts. There's all the knife in my face. There's my, you know, all these knife cuts. So, it's, uh, you play with water, you get wet. You play with fire, you burn. You play with knife and fire. You burn and cut at the same time. Sometimes it cuts you and seal you right away so it doesn't bleed. It depends on how deep it is. What else can you say about the Samoan culture? Samoan culture, uh, either we like it or not, as a Samoan, uh, it's going to change. Uh, we need to really know where we're at as a Samoan culture. You know, where we belong in this world changing. Or we're going to fall also. You know, we're going to end up in, in a place where you don't want to be at in the, in the future. What are we doing here, Angeline? I'm trying to make fire with this wood. It's hard. <laughs> I don't know how they make it so, look so easy. So don't you control water as Moana? Yeah, but I'm trying to learn fire too. Huh. I'm going to find a groove on a stick that's not too deep, nice and shallow. If you don't have a groove, you want to slice the stick flat, get a nice new groove, and you're going to rub on it with a small stick. And then when you rub, you're going to sit on the stick sideways, like how a lady would sit on a horse, facing that groove that you want to use, and then you're going to rub on a 45 degree angle. Once you start to see the sawdust and the smoke, then you want to pick up the speed. Choo! And there it is. Woo! Spark. You're actually creating a spark that's feeding off the sawdust, and this is what you put into coconut husk. And, yeah, and then it would light on that's fire. That's how we make fire. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. In the village of Hawaii, we got to see a canoe that is like the boats that were in the Moana movie. So tell us more about this canoe. Okay, so this is our voyaging canoe, Yosepa. Canoes like this, they believe, were being used in the Pacific as far back as five to 600 BC. But these are the type of canoes that our ancestors who used to cross the Pacific thousands of miles. This particular canoe is made entirely out of wood. Our canoe here is 57 feet long. It's just over 19 feet wide. It was done by master carvers from Hawaii and from Tonga. And we didn't have any blueprints. This is all from memory. This is the, the type of things uh, that our people made. And so they knew how to make it. Three summers ago, when the students had it sailing, they actually got it sailing up at its fastest speed they sailed it at, at 15 nautical miles, which is really fast uh, for any sailboat, let alone one at 12 and a half tons. I believe you only need about eight knots to water ski. So 15 is almost twice as fast as you need to pull somebody up on the water. Under the canvas cover, we have cots built along the top of the hull for your downtime, for your sleep time. In the future, maybe even taking the canoe uh, and the logs back to where it came from, which is the islands of Fiji. So, who knows? Maybe I'll sneak myself onto the Osepa and hitch a ride to Fiji.
One of the highlights is definitely the luau. Amazing food and entertainment. But watch out for the performers in the audience. They might drag you on stage and make you dance. It was actually pretty fun. Being at the Polynesian Cultural Center was amazing. You should definitely stop by the next time you're in Hawaii.